Okay. Waiting for LED flags. Hello, Cheryl. I have Ms. Laws on the line. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Louise. Cheryl. This is Cheryl Aronson. You ready? Pleased to meet you over the phone. Pleased to meet Looking you. Thank you. Okay, so let's start off with question one. How did you? How did growing up in your family contribute to your musical artistry as a vocalist? Well, my biggest influence was my mom um, and my brother Hubert because um, my other siblings came after me, and so he was he was a big influence. But my mom being the biggest influence because uh, growing up. Um, she was our cry director at, uh, at, in the church, and uh, I, so I sang in the choir, and, um, and she also exposed me to uh, other artists in our home, such as Billie Holiday, Donna Washington, um, and then in my latter years, um, once I got into uh, college, I started listening. I was greatly influenced by artists uh, such as Nancy Wilson and mm -hmm. Dionne Warwick, Barbara Streisand, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the, the a lot of the Motown artists because that was my sort of generation, and Motown was very, very big. So these were these were the most uh, influential people in my in my uh, in my early years. Absolutely. And with your mother being a choir director and you being a vocalist, uh, were there anything she did specifically to help you uh, express yourself vocally? Well, she, um, we were constantly surrounded by uh, music on a weekly basis, such as choir rehearsals in our home. Oh. And then, of course, I did a lot of the solo work uh, in, in the choir because she was choir director and uh, uh, again she was very encouraging uh, giving me an opportunity to sing it before uh, you know in, in church which is an opportunity to sing in, 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 a, in a, before an audience and so I think that was probably one of the biggest um, influence and uh, uh, contributing factors as far as uh, exposing me to at an early age to perform in, in front of an audience. Oh, okay, that makes and, sense. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, and a lot of singers, you know, that come out of the church, such as Whitney and all that. Those, those. I mean, she's just one of the few uh, that I'm naming that that has come out of the church at a very early age, and it really helps to shape your. Um, your vocal skills as well as your exposure to an audience. Yes. When it's done at an early age, Michael Jackson is another one. Uh, not that I'm trying to equate my career with, with them, but uh, it's just that it, it, these are the things that we are exposed to at an early age, which really helps to shape you, uh, your career and help you as an artist. Absolutely. And you've had quite a comprehensive career as well, touring and recording and then also being on broad. Broadway. So please share some of your highlights that have shaped your success. Well, um, I, I would, in my mind, uh, just off the top, um, Broadway being a, a tremendous highlight. But prior to that, you know, I was exposed to, um, in my, in my, right after my college days, which I studied music in, in, in college and um, at Texas Southern University, I was given a scholarship, which was a huge highlight because that started my career. Oh, yes. Someone, someone saw the talent and gave me uh, presented an opportunity for me to pursue uh, my career by setting up a scholarship and then, and then um, uh, allowing me and gave me the privilege to and the support financially to go to New York and to study music and drama, dance, the whole uh, uh, entertainment uh, uh, 
industry in terms of, 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 of performance. So I was exposed to a lot of, uh, you know, traveling, television, meeting people from all walks of life, you know, that with, with, and people with uh, various interests uh, other than mine. That helped to shape me as an artist and as a person, really. And then, of course, my family, working with family from time to time after uh, establishing my, my own identity as an artist. And then, um, yeah, and then just trying to keep some kind of order in my life by being around positive people, you know. And uh, so that, and then, of course, uh, as you mentioned, Broadway, which came very much later in my career, but I welcomed it because that was one of my one of my dreams was to always make it to to to, to always perform on Broadway to get into a Broadway show. So uh, that was a tremendous highlight. But you know, the exposure of just traveling and working all over the world and 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 winning various contests and and performing for a lot of uh, people. Uh, in the industry that I that I respect and love and and was inspired by, such as Nancy Wilson and Quincy Jones and Harry Belafonte and um, you know, the list the list goes on. Yes, yes. Just to name a few. <laughs> yes, to name a few. <laughs> okay. So you're saying you um, work with them, you perform for them. Uh, can you elaborate? I work with Harry. I work with. Um, uh, my goodness, I've worked with so many, I've forgotten. I've worked with Harry <laughs> Belafonte. I've worked, with, I've worked with Flip Wilson. i worked with Merv Griffin, who yeah. had his own television show. I worked with, actually worked with him. Not only did I do the show, or well, was a regular on the show, but I worked with him. Uh, I was exposed, a lot of people that were in, in the audience, uh, especially on Broadway, there were any number of, of, of well-known entertainers, such as Alec Baldwin, uh, uh, oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> TV Wonder, uh, the writing team of Howlin' Dozier Holland. Oh, uh, a lot of these people yes. came, came through. Brought, came through through uh, New York to see the show. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can, can you say specifically okay. that the, I know we talked in the summer, but say specifically the Broadway show you were you had worked on. Hello. I'm sorry. The Broadway show that I did what? Yeah. Are no. You can there? you no? Can you say this name of the show that you? Uh, you oh, talking? the name of the show. The yes. Broadway show. It was called "It Ain't Nothing But the Blues." Right. Okay. Which was which was simply a show that that was uh 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 the uh the history. It was all about uh, the history of the blues. Right. So, uh, the show we before we got to Broadway, we did um. Uh, theaters all over the country, actually, and we were in, we we were at Crossroads in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and producers heard about the show, came to see it, and and thought, hey, we 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 this show has to has to go to Broadway, and so that's how we got there. But prior to that, we had been touring the sh- uh, uh, many theaters uh, throughout the country uh, for about two and a half years before we made it to Broadway with the show. Oh. It's always fabulous and exciting to be on Broadway, for sure. It <laughs> was my lifelong dream. It was a lifelong dream. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And let's also talk about how you might have developed your style of singing, because you do have such a lovely mixture of the genres with the with swinging blues, jazz, R&B, pop, and of course, Broadway. So... Talk about how you might, you know, specifically have developed your style with all, mixing all those genres. <laughs> well, um, I guess you could say, I, being exposed at an early age to uh, different genres of music, you know. My mother always taught us that music belongs to everyone. Mm. I mean, you know, gospel, gospel, country. And the, the, the big question is what, what, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Right. So it's like all of these music, all of the music has come out of, actually out of the blues, uh, jazz, gospel, jazz. Uh, and I've been exposed to, to all genres and I just kind of, at, at a very young age, so, I kind of lost myself in uh, 
and listening to 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 all types of music and 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 it 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 it, it, it has been somewhat of a I wouldn't say a, a curse, but uh, because I don't have a specific style, I have a specific sound, but I don't have a specific style, unfortunately or fortunately, because, uh, and I say fortunately, uh, the latter, because uh, it has um, given me and, and brought so many different opportunities for me. I mean, when, you know, doing the diff- different TV shows, allowed me to to go in one direction and then uh, of course being able to do the blues afforded me the the, 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 the blues show which you know which I got a, a call for right. uh, my the different the different record labels that I I, I, I was on um, which was started out with CDS and then I later went to from that to ABC and then to to um, uh, capital. Um, all, each one of these record company labels was looking for, I guess, saw something in, 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 in me that was what they were looking for. So, um, you know, I say, because in the industry, they like to put a label on you, right. but I've never been able to, 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 to be labeled because, uh, I've been able to do, um, uh, because of the many influences in my life, uh, Nancy Wilson, who's jazz, but Dionne Warwick, she's pop. Right. And then, of course, Bob Streisand is pop jazz. And, I, and, and then the Motown artists, they are, they were considered R&B. So I grew up listening to all genres of music. And so I just became influenced by all, all. And which is, which has really been, I said, a curse, but it's been a positive, positive <laughs> Uh, as well, because I've been exposed and, and an opportunity to do so many different things because of that. Absolutely, and I've seen you perform. You are fabulous. <laughs> you are. You have a great well, presence. You. Your voice is just incredible, and I love well, everything. Please. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. I, I because you offered you 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 pointed out something that that sometimes I forget. And when I do perform, that's when all those mixtures come in because it's not either jazz or, or pop or blues, but I'm performing. I am a performer as right. opposed to a particular jazz or pop or whatever. I, I, I am a performer. Exactly. And, uh, and that, that has been, I think, a very positive um, uh, way for me to, to, to be able to to stand tall and to, to recognize this is my this is my my what my strength is as a performer and more so than as a as a um, a jazz artist or a pop artist. Sure, but, um, as a performer. Great. Well, speaking of performing, you are going to have quite a few coming up, aren't you? So uh, we well, have you. Go ahead. <laughs> well, yes, and I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm, uh, this year is a very busy year for me, and uh, and that's uh, something that I can I can be proud of actually because at this point in my career to be still viable uh, says a lot. Yes. So um, I have some dates coming up. A couple, a couple at Catalina, uh, and actually they're all, they're back to back. But one of them I'm I'm I'm, cro- I'm quite. Uh, uh, I'm proud of, and that is, uh, it, again, it's a tribute to Billie Holiday, which I've done there for the past three or four years, back to back, uh, for the past three or four years. And then, of course, and then I'll be, then the, prior to that date, I'm working with, um, uh, a young artist, not a young artist, an artist called, um, and you have to forgive me. I'm, I'm at a loss. Are you talking about Tom Brown? Brown. Brown? Tom Brown? Tom Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tom Brown, thank I, you, thank you. He's fa- and he's he amazing. He, I, he's great. He is truly amazing. And, and the reason I couldn't quite come up with his Tom Brown was because I was trying to think of his big, his big hit. Oh, right. And I know that it's going to be, yeah, I know that it's gonna be uh, a, a great evening uh, and, a, and a pleasure to work with him because he's, so many, I've received so many calls, people looking forward to, the, to, that, oh. to, that, to that evening. And it looks like yeah. your brother will also be there, Ronnie Laws, too, correct? 
Ronnie will be there, but I'm not sure if Ronnie's going to be playing on that oh. particular day. We will be going to San Diego um, in a, a few weeks after that, and then also I'll be headed to London for the uh, um, the Soul, Soul Fest there at the Winter Theater. And I believe Patty Austin is on that, as well as a lot of the local artists out of England, London, England. What? What? Can you say the and, name of the? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Can you go back about the London performance? It's the Soul Fest, and what theater is it in? It, I think it's the winter. It says Winter Garden Theater. Winter Garden. And, okay, very uh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, that's in London, England. And uh, um, these are, I, I mean, you know, the 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 year is filled with with, with <laughs> a lot of good dates, and I I I I, I, I can't. I'm yeah, yeah. It looks like you're. I can't, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> oh well, that's so great when you can't remember them and you're being so busy. That's the way it should be, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so, are you? You are recording. Blackpool Soul Fest. Blackpool. Oh, Robin, you're Blackpool. Yeah, Blackpool Soul Fest. Blackpool Soul Fest. Okay. okay. So Again, the other one is with uh, on the 27th. It's in uh, San Diego. Right, got that. Well, I mentioned and, that. I, I mentioned San Diego. With Body Laws, Tom, Tom. Brown. Brown. I mentioned that. I mentioned that. I mentioned the young, the, uh, the one after after Catalina would be in San Diego. Right. And, um, and then, I didn't know you wanted the exact date. That's okay. That's okay. Date. I just thought you mentioned you wanted the day, the date. But I yeah. know you want the exact date. That's okay. But yeah. We have the one April 27th. I know the promoter of that show as well. So excellent. Excellent. Um, okay. And then you're going to be touring Europe too, it looks like, besides London. Well, so far, so <laughs> far, we're hoping to get more dates while we're there. Great. But, uh, but right now, we do have that one. Uh, uh, that one has been... Uh, uh, um, solid. That's a solid date that we have. Fabulous. And then you also have recorded or in, are recording Don't Move to Blink? Wait. I have recorded. I have recorded and about a little over, maybe uh, this will be the second single in the past two years, which is good. Um, that will be coming out uh, right about the time we are at Catalina. Perfect. And we will be uh, we will be introducing that single okay. uh, at that performance. It will be the first time it's done live. Okay, and at, can, uh, the can you say the name of it again? Don't move. Don't move. Don't blink. Oh, don't blink. Okay, don't move. Don't blink. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. All right. We'll look forward to hearing that from you then, and I'm sure it'll be great. I'm excited about introducing <laughs> it and performing it for the first time live. Excellent. And are you, did you also write the lyrics? Because I know you write your own lyrics as well. We, I wrote the lyrics along with, uh, and music, uh, along with uh, uh, Robin Parker, who we are uh, partners in, in, uh, in, in, this, in this, as well as writing partners, as well as uh, business partners. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And then also talk a bit about your uh, contribution as a businesswoman and you volunteer working with uh, youth and you're a philanthropist. So let's hear <laughs> how you, uh, that filters into your life. I wear many hats. Then, yes, uh, you do. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I've been involved with community services uh, for over 12, maybe 15 years because I, I do believe that, uh, uh, I believe in, 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 in taking, I believe that it's important to give back and I, I certainly wouldn't be where I am if, if, if people hadn't uh, reached out and given me opportunities as well as financial support. So I wouldn't be where I am today. And so I, it's important that I do the same. So um, I'm involved with a lot of foundations and uh, with about three or four, about at least four of them that I participate with regularly. I sit on the committee for Team Hill as well as um, uh, the Conrad Johnson Foundation, which is out of Houston, Texas. And um, also um, another organization that I've worked with for many, many years, but I uh, haven't 
participated with them uh, recently, but it's called, they're called um, Educating Young Minds. Mm. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, I'm always giving my talent, freely giving my talent to, uh, to these organizations, but also uh, friends that ask me to do retirement parties or, <laughs> or you know, Black, Black History Month, which yes. I just did uh, at, at a church um, the last Sunday of, of the, the Black History Month, which was uh, February, uh, very recently. And uh, I called a few of my friends to help them participate in Black History Month, and that, that was exciting. Uh, to be able to do that and 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 much appreciated by by uh, the church that that we that we performed at. Fabulous, excellent, and you know also now you've had you so you've been a recording artist, a vocalist, singer, Broadway actor, author, publisher. My goodness, producer. You've done so much. <laughs> Anything you want to... Well, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, thank you. Uh, I, you know, I think it's important to to do as much as you can. I mean, we, we're only past this way very, very, very... <laughs> it seems like a, a fleeting moment or a, like a mist right. in, in the wind. So it's important to try and, and do as much as you can. And it's really all about uh, helping others and trying to, to you know, it, I don't know, I always say it takes a big person to do small things. I mean, I try to do as much as I can on, on all levels. Mm. And, um, so, you know, when, when you serve others, I, you know, your, your blessings just come back double. And that's always been my, my, uh, my motto. Lovely. Life. So, oh. yeah, and that is to serve, and that's what I—that's what this business is, is about. And so, I remember a quote of something that Johnny Mathis told me a long time ago: uh, that uh, this business, you—if you're a nice person, it makes you a nicer person, and if you're a fool, it makes you a bigger fool. <laughs> and I, I've always tried to avoid the latter. <laughs> Very good. Sometimes I uh, you you seem so, I mean you and I had a lovely interaction this summer at the Drew Jazz Festival. You are a lovely person for sure. <laughs> oh, you're the lady. I remember. <laughs> wonderful. I believe Robin mentioned that that you that, that yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes. Uh, when we were taking an interview and there were photographs we had in in, a, in this little uh, right room. Uh, room. <laughs> I got, got it. Okay. That's now who. I'm putting a face with, with, I'm putting a face oh, with, good. With, <laughs> That's with, who with, I am. Now, finally. Yes, and you were. Face. We had a great okay. interview. You were very, very lovely, and so I thank you for thank that you again. So much. I, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Eloise, what are you looking forward to as you're moving ahead in your career? Because hey, you still got a grand career. Uh, ahead of you. So, what are you looking forward well, to? I'm looking forward to, um, you know, getting better, exposing myself to, um, you know, things that are are that make me feel good uh, in terms of, you know, this this business. And once that stops, uh, then I guess I'm ready to stop. So far. I'm feeling very good about where 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 I am and where mm. things are going. You know, there's been up up up. There's been ebbs and flow, sure. up and down, sure. and that 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 goes with the territory. I mean, that that's the business. Nobody stays on top forever. Right. So I've constantly, you know, reinvented myself, and um, uh, you know, uh, Robin came in my life, and she made made sure that. And I'm just, I'm staying busy. And uh, there's, when there was a lull, she came right in and said, you don't know, no, you still have a lot more to give. And, and so she has been very encouraging as far as getting me back out there and keeping me out there. So mm. uh, 
I, 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 I'm just looking forward to tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow brings, and that's the beauty of this business. You never know what tomorrow brings. That's right. Well, I'm sure tomorrow's going to bring you a lot of wonderful things and concerts and you're continuing to perform and really share your talent with the world. And I thank you so much for this interview, Eloise. Well, thank you for taking the time and wanting me to uh, to, to talk with you about my, my life and my career. I, I appreciate it very much. And you, you will probably be seeing me in April at these concerts. <laughs> I will be there, so I will. We will well, meet again. I look again. forward to it. Please make, sure, <laughs> please make sure you come up and say hello. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Good, good afternoon. Thank you.